Hello everybody and welcome back. This is MultiGK here and we are here with some FTL for a one-shot. Um, basically, if anyone's wondering about my main series, Skyrim, Dishonored, and all those videos, they will be coming back next week. I uh, just got my recording software and we will be, I'll be going through a very intense session of editing. <laughs> But we're going to try this out on the one shot. I will keep one shots going throughout the week as I am able, and I do know that I missed a day. I'm trying to do them every other day. So we're going to keep advanced edition content enabled, which adds all kinds of awesome extra stuff. Now we can choose a ship here. Uh, let's go for a random ship. The Osprey. I kind of play with it often, but whatever. Uh, we can do all kinds of things for Nathan, Bars, Fire Team, and Big B. So it's a, it's a varied crew. I think I'll stick to normal. Let's make it a little bit tough on ourselves. This is a pretty tough game. Uh, basically, this game, you it's kind of uh, real time almost. You controlling the different characters in the ship to make control different parts of the ship. Uh, traveling to the end of the galaxy, basically to try and save the rebellion uh, while being chased by enemies. And so your ship can fight other ships, but you also have to control the little people on the ship. It's very cool. Very. In it makes you feel like you're actually in a spaceship battle. Let's, uh, let's start. The data you carry is vital to a remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But, get to the exit before the pursuing rebels fleet catch up. Tip, bomb weapons. Bombs teleport directly into either ship. They bypass shields and defense drones. However, they affect the, the only crew and systems. They do no damage to the ship's hull. So that's very interesting. That's a little bit of information that uh, we can use if we actually get any bomb teleporters. I don't believe we have any. So let me do a quick overview of this. So we have the health here of the ship. This is, I believe, our fuel, our missiles, our drone parts, scrap, our time till we can uh, FTL to the next place. We can look at the ship here. Shields. Uh, these are pretty obvious how much we can evade. Um, these are a power bar for all of our systems and how energized they are. And here are subsystems which always have power and do their own things. I'll try to explain them as I use them. So hopefully it's not too confusing. Maybe I should have done the tutorial, but I, have to, I, I know the game very well myself. So space. We're already ready to jump. Let's see if we... Yeah, we have 10 scrap. We can't really do anything. These are all the systems and we can upgrade them for certain amounts of money. We can't do nothing. So let's uh, go. So the rebels will come from the left and we have to escape there. There's a distress signal. And let's go down here first. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free, unharmed. Draw stars and send a crew member, or we will never surrender. We will never surrender, because I just started the game, I have a very decent crew of four people. Let's do this. So let's pause it real quick, and we don't have power in the... Wow, we don't have power in the weapons. I did not realize that. Okay, that's that's weird. Uh, I should have moved people around, but it seems, you know, human piloting, bars on the engines, that person on the weapons. Eh, the ship's already pretty well set up. Save your positions so we can send them back to their places that we have to move them around. Uh, this weapon I will tell to automatically go for the shields or the weapons. Well, they're gonna, it's gonna hit the shield, so I'll just tell them to go for the shields. Now we just have to wait for the charging to happen. Oh, it's a quick charging weapon. Oh, I think they launched a missile. Yep. Oh Jesus, fix the shields, fix the shields. Um, nah, we want to keep that guy there. We're just going to have to take a couple hits now. What were those? EMP? Dang. Ah, oh, they're about to hit with another one. That missile goes... Yeah, missiles are horrible. They go straight through shields. Yeah, that room doesn't matter too much. And now we can finally burst laser them in the weapons. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Uh, yeah, another rock person named Maria. I'll take it, because, I don't know. Actually, people could be useful. Uh, Maria. Oh, gosh, they almost hit us. Maria, you can get on something that 
will help. So if she gets on doors, her doors will be more powerful. Um, I really like sensors because then she can actually sense into the enemy ship. I don't really care too much for doors, we just upgrade them manually. So no money, but we have an extra crew member already. Let's go this way. You arrive in the system and immediately discover a pirate ship nearby. Strangely, scans indicate there are no life forms aboard. You salvage anything useful, but find no clues to the whereabouts of the former crew. Interesting. That's kind of creepy. Some money. Uh, we should be able to do something with that money. Hmm. Artillery beam powers a slow, high-powered beam that pierces all shields and does one damage per room hit. More power means faster cooldown. Hmm. But I have to actually give it power from the reactor. And there's nothing else I can upgrade. Hmm. I feel like I want to go heavy on the shields, but we're going to need power for that. So we already have two shields, so we're going to have to do one. No, we don't have enough money for two, so one, two, and then with money we'll go one, two, and we'll have a second layer of protection. And let's jump to the next area. Distress signal, why not? You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. So I can send, send a crew member, dock and try to rescue them, or leave. Or, because I have a rock crew member, Fireheim and Maria, I can send them in. And they're almost, I think they can still take damage from fire, but they're almost immune. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. Never, You've never seen someone that large move fast. It depresses as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fire start to die down. Contact the survivors. With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and a generous reward. 20 scrap, so that's another power upgrade. And automated reloader. Let's see what this is about. Automated reloader, it's already put in. Uh, cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 10%, so our, our weapon goes faster. That's nice. And boom. So next we're gonna need 20 and then 30. So we're gonna need a total of 50 to make that shield work. Um, no, I don't want to power next. It won't be enough for the shield. So yeah, our engines are kind of working at half mass. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's go. I'd rather not get caught, so let's go this way. We're trying to reach as many plants as we can before we leave, because we want as many resources as possible. You spot a small rebel ship nearby, which are the guys trying to kill us, so we're the Federation, I think. My bad. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. <coughs> Demand the surrender of their goods. Yeah. They're rebels, man. We don't care. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. They look like they don't fight. They're trying to escape. Okay, so we paused it. They're trying to charge up their FTL. So immediately we're going to want our weapons to hit them either in the engine or the driving or the pilot bay. So let's hit them in the pilot bay. Hopefully we can charge it quick enough. We're charging faster than normal, so we should be able to hit them before they can run away. And there they go. Yeah, so now that their driving system is gone, they can't uh, charge up the FTL. So while we got that, we're going to try to hit them in the engines. If they fix that in time, we'll hit them in, I mean, the weapons, and we'll hit them in the engines if they try to run away. It's almost worth it to hit them in the engines, too. Just really slow them down. Because if they get away and talk to the rebels, uh, we're screwed. Oh my, we missed our lasers. Come on. Let him charge the FTL, man. Oh, jeez, there's a fire. Let's open these doors, and that should kill the fire for now. Jeez, that's not good at all. Yeah. They're, they're giving us B. They're not, they're not messing around. That's for sure. Okay, that's actually a fire, and that's perfect. We need to hit their engine again. Oh no, it's delayed because they're not driving. Hmm. 
They have a decent amount, they have a little bit of health, not very much. What should I hit? If I can hit their oxygen, I can starve them with oxygen, which will leave the ship intact and give us more resources, but I don't know if I can do that in this fight. It sucks that we don't have the artillery beam, that thing's awesome. But it's not working. Jesus, okay. Go help with that. Okay, so we're doing pretty good so far. Let's try to hit the oxygen. It might be a bad idea. I might let them get away, but it might not. They're gonna want to fix the oxygen. They're not gonna want to start. Yeah, there we go. They're going straight for the oxygen. So I'm gonna see what happens now, because they can't drive away. But if they do try to get away, I mean, one hit and they're gone. Yeah, you can see everything's turning pink. There's an oxygen like this room was. Jeez, come on. Oh no. Straighten the oxygen room right now. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh my god. I don't need this right now. Come on. Now I'm losing oxygen. They did the same thing to me. Uh, just kill him, I guess. Bye. Oh no. Oh jeez. Hit him, 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 hit him. No! Ah, oh, jeez. Well, that's what I get for being cocky. Got cocky, and now we we, we don't we don't get to do what we want. Dang it! Now we get no resources, and I took damage. Jeez, I shouldn't have gotten cocky right there. And the rebels are closer. Ah, it's all going to poop, isn't it? It's all going to poop. Okay, so go to your stations, uh, save these stations because we got a new new person. <sighs> yeah. So yeah, let's uh, go to the next area. This, uh, it doesn't seem like they got extra boost. So we may be okay, they just got away from us, but they didn't necessarily report our position to the fleet. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Well, if they're civilians, we're going to aid them. Let's go. Power up your weapons and engage the automated ship. And of course it has a little drone flying around us. So yeah, that's what this station's for, which we could get one as well, and use this to make those, and they'd, they'd shoot our enemy. But they don't need oxygen or anything, so let's just go straight for their... Uh, weapons, uh, it's gonna hit the shield, but it's not gonna turn off the, it's gonna turn off the shield, but hopefully one shot gets through that shield, and then the other one hits the weapon, so we knock out their weapon. We need an extra weapon. There we go. And while we're at it, we might as well take out their shield permanently. And yes. Oh, and this side thing right here is actually an artillery beam that's gonna shoot the hell out of them and it shoots when this fills up so it might be about to shoot them. It didn't shoot in the last battle because it was red. It had been shot by a missile or something. Uh, shoot those shields. I want the laser to hit everything. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna see this thing do its work. And laser cannon. Yeah, we didn't even have to shoot. That was awesome. Uh, the ship breaks apart, you hasten to contact the civilian ship. Uh, so we get some missiles and some money. Uh, and they uh, wisely made a fast retreat while you were distracted. Yep, so they just ran. They didn't even they didn't even want to see if we were going to be okay. They just ran. Eh, I mean, smart enough. They don't know, it could be another pirate. They, like, I could be a pirate attacking a drone and they're screwed. You stumble across the forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay. So we're going straight for the the room. We're not going to try with the oxygen or anything else. We're just we're just hitting the uh, the two main rooms and, and trying to obliterate them. The problem is they have heavy weapons. Those both look like powerful weapons. They have drones. This is not... The ship's not messing around at all. At all. That, that's a hacking room, I think. Jeez. We might be about to die already. That's sad. 
Yep, they hacked our oxygen. We're gonna die. We, we, we're not. Yeah, their our oxygen is going down so freaking fast. Oh my gosh. We already. Okay, our oxygen seems to be going back up. I was worried that it's just gonna drain to zero and kill us. Okay, shoot that piloting room. Come on, keep shooting the fire and fire the room. I hope this laser can do something because if not, they're about to get away. We need to shoot them now. Oh, our weapons are down. <sighs> okay, help fix, help fix, help fix. They're draining our oxygen again. Jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, get a weapon online, get a weapon online. They're about to just get away. We're so screwed. If they don't kill us first. Oh man, come on, come on. Shoot it. They're about to get away. Wow, my luck today. This laser might hurt their their room, but it shoots randomly. So we're gonna have to open that, 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 that. What did it do? It damaged their weapons, but that doesn't matter. Yep, they're out. <sighs> what the heck, man? Okay, so now I'll close all the doors. What the hell? Look at this! We're, did, have we even escaped the first area yet? No, I haven't even made it to the exit. This game is ridiculously hard. See? Some, somebody might have been thinking, why doesn't he put it on hard mode? Nope, I, I'm sad I put it on normal. I don't even want to guess what hard mode is like. <sighs> Theodem, since we're already getting caught anyway, go heal. I don't want you to die mid-fight. I think he took a missile to the face. Yeah, he's pretty slow. But he's getting you know, So while he goes back to base, we should start jumping again. Gosh, man, we're taking lots of hits. Uh, let's try and go here. And we might not even be able to go to the store. We, we need to get out of here. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. <sighs> I'm always the hero guy, but it's getting us killed so far. Actually, the people we fight to defend other people are usually not as tough, so... Let's try... Uh, I, really, I really don't want this video to be, like, under 20 minutes, but let's see. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. So let's pause it. Do this. And fire. They're not trying to run away, so let's fire at their oxygen just to mess with them. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's gonna burst with their shields, hit their oxygen, they're gonna have to fix it. The guys will have to move. They only have three guys. So, less people to fix stuff. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the super, super toughest ship. What is that? Yep. Oh, they hit us with scrap. Fix that thing. I want that thing shooting. I want the next burst to be on their weapons. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, they damaged us. Jesus. Alright, you're gonna go fix the sensors. Actually, no, fix the weapons. We need them more. Um, just, 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 okay. Weapons almost online. Power to those. Uh, we can use the evasion for this battle. Go back to the oxygen and hit it. Oh, come on. Well, we're gonna have to hit the weapons or else they're gonna smack us again. Yeah, there we go. Start a fire. And they're in a very oxygen-rich environment with only one way out, which I don't even think they open the outer doors. So, they're gonna have fun playing around as humans with fire with no rock people. <laughs> And no healing room, they're just gonna be hurt the entire time. Ooh, they're taking damage. 
Yeah. Ooh, and my weapon took them out before I could stop it. Okay. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. The outpost hails you, gives you more money. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Yup. Yup. That's awesome. So we're at a perfect position to do this. Ah, one point off. One point off. How you gonna do this to me? Yeah, we can't power up the shields because it needs two bars per extra shield. Well, at least we'll have evasion for a while. Yeah, we can't do here, because if we come here, they'll be around here. And then we, yeah, by the time we come back, it'll be it'll be screwed. So let's go here, and hopefully we can get at least two more places before the exit. Okay, you come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission call from the pirate. Stay out of this fight, and we'll make it worth your while. I don't really want to fight right now. Good choice. I feel gross, but... Okay, let's do that, and then one of those, and boom, two shields. So that should make us a lot more survivable in a fight. Uh, let's go here, and they'll be here. And by the time I get now, I gotta go straight to the exit. Let's go. Let's go. You arrived at the long-range beacon when the FTL drive is charging and jumps to the next sector. Scanners indicate that a battle is taking place nearby. It seems that someone is under attack by space pirates. Well, with two shields, we might as well test it. Let's go. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. I actually don't know what that is. Anti-combat drone shoots to stun and possibly destroy your combat drones. Can be shut down by damaging the enemy's ship drone system. Well, we're not shooting drones, so we're fine. That basically is useless, unless I can shoot off missiles or something. I don't even shoot missiles either. Uh, well, they're not trying to run away. Let's send them in the oxygen again. It's a good strategy because if we can kill the, the crew without damaging the ship, we get more money. And of course, we distract them from their systems, which makes their aiming go down and their shields go down. Next, we hit oxygen again. Let's just have fun with these people. Yeah, your oxygen's down. Oops. <laughs> Yep, you gotta keep fixing that. Oh boy, our shields are doing really good. Yeah, see, they can't get they can't get past both layers, and they don't seem to have a missile system. Oh man, take that, take care of that oxygen, man. It's broken. Check it, check it out. Fix it, fix it. <laughs> Ooh, they're doing bad. Yep, yep. Up, oh, up. Oh, there you go. Oops, didn't notice that that was gonna be a killing job. Contact the civilian ship. Oh, they fixed me. That's perfect. And what should we go for next and try to build up to next? Hmm. I mean, I almost think more shields, but you don't want to specify too much. But four shields is really powerful. It's just sometimes the enemy's like, I'm just going to have 15 missile launchers. Just, just you, you have no defenses. Let's go to the next sector. So we have a civilian or Zoltan controlled sector. Uh, their civilian doesn't necessarily mean friendly, but it, it usually is better. That's why it's green. I like this one because it seems to have a lot more greens on it. Well, this one has one, two, three. Yeah, like if we wanted to, we could go for one. This one would be two. I like Zoltan. We don't know what's ahead. Little times are interesting, and I'm willing to I'm willing to go through two hostile areas because of this I can just go and have one host hostile. Yeah, let's go civilian. It's probably safe. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the uh, the uh, gamble, Zoltan. Because we might also have to fight a Zoltan. Sometimes they 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 don't they're not as friendly as you think they might be. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when your ID is Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it's there, so let's try some kind of S shape or something. We're gonna have to go like roll, roll, roll. So let's go this way.
You recognize this ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. I don't have the money for him. I love him because he's probably powering my shit. But let's just attack him, I guess. Because he's a slaver and we don't like those. Okay, he's hacking my shields. <laughs> my best attribute. I mean, he's smart. I kind of got... I, 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 I congratulate him for it. I didn't even put you back on the freaking... You can't even make it through the freaking room, can you? Yeah, you have to actually damage the freaking door. Just to make it through. Okay. You have to break our own door. Uh, we're already doing super bad, aren't we? Oh my god, everything's breaking. Everything's breaking. Yeah, he's actually really bad at fixing, but I need things fixed. So, power. Hit their... I don't even know what to hit this situation. Just hit their weapons because they have they have missiles. Alright, so you oh jeez. Yeah, hit dazed by the missile. And they rehacked the shields. Which means we can't hit their weapon. Okay, we can. Hit their weapons. Quick, 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 quick. Yes. Keep keep hitting their weapons for now. Oh jeez, we're on fire. You might have to get the hell out of there and go fix the oxygen, yes. Oh man, <laughs> it's like our ship is split in half. I don't know what to do, taking so much damage everywhere. You start damaging that door, we need to get up in there. Doors can close. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Are we about to die? I think we're about to die. We're doing really bad and I think they just rehacked the shields. Hit their weapons again. Screw that Zoltan guy. Yeah. We surrender. Take one of the slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. You're right, but uh, they're not going to be able to fix my hull if I kill them. I'll take it. Dang it, man. Why oh, you got to be right? Okay, go back to the machine. Actually, go fix this. And you got to go in a station, so I'll put you on doors. Olaf's son. If he was Odin's son, he'd be Thor. <laughs> I think I'll give me a name, though, but I'm just being a little lazy, so this is just like a little solo. Uh, oh yeah, he upgraded the doors by just being in there, and that should help us in the future. But this health, man, I don't think we're going to make it much farther. I, I, I was thinking I might split this episode in two, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing if we die soon. Uh, jump. Distress signal. Shall we die at this distress signal? Tune in this time. Greetings, it is so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. We were terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Could you spare some fuel? <sighs> How much fuel do I have? 17? Sure. Here you go. Yeah, scrap. Scrap is so good. Okay, so what do we want? I don't know what we want here. Uh, need something that can help us survive. I think shields, the missiles, I don't know how to stop them besides shooting them. And we don't have extra weapons. I guess the best thing would be to power up this area, have at least two more power bars, and then if we find a second weapon, we're good. Okay, you jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, it's NG Escort takes you for the attacker. Oh, jeez and retaliates. They refuse all hails. Dang, they're angry. Oh, jeez. This ship doesn't look half bad. Oh, no! I can see my death before me. They have a really powerful laser, a laser cannon, a pew pew pew, and a pzzz. And they have that, those things, which I think they're both just anti-combat. Yeah, so those are just defenders. You have three engines who are good at fixing stuff. 
they have uh, I don't see a hacking room or anything. And they, they have a healing room. They're, they're not bad. They're probably going to do a lot of damage. And we can't take a lot of damage right now. Whenever you have the chance, I want you to strike at the weapons. Power up the engines for more evasion. Yeah. They hit us already. Hit the weapons again. I need that thing down. It's powered up too. Ah! Screw your weapons. Dang it. I said screw your weapons. You're gonna go down. You're going down. Uh, my super laser's coming up. You're about to be dead. I think it pierces all shields. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna keep trying to shoot them, but I think my super laser is about to take them out. Yep, there we go. Cut their ship in half. Whew, thank Jesus. Maybe I'm being too stressed out and, and, and being like too much like, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, but it, it, it's very easy to die in this game. Very quick. So there's another power bar. We have 25 of this, so let's see if we can do something. Sensors are gonna be useful. They show us our the enemy interior. So now we have technically three because someone's in the sensors. So we can actually, what does it say? Uh, view all rooms and info for enemy ships, the enemy weapon charges. Yep, that's nice. Let's jump again. Oh geez, a few more a few more zealous in their custom checks than results in a team of border police being on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons licenses, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Jeez. Oh man, they can really damage the ship when they're on board. There's four of them. Okay. Um. Yeah, they have a lot of people. So you are gonna go into this room. And then I'm gonna need to start with more oxygen. So go into this room and no, I can't. Now go to the healing room and I'm just gonna open these doors. And yeah, I'm gonna have to start from the oxygen because I need I, I need to do as little damage as possible here. Uh, so they're gonna freak out. He's gonna try and escape to a good place. Yeah, they're gonna break my freaking shield. It's my only good thing on my ship, man. Yeah, they're already about to break the first shield. Um, and they have super shields. And super weapons. <laughs> Not gonna say we're gonna die, but it's a possibility. Oh, there goes the second. Oh, man. No shields. Yeah, y'all are starving, freaking douche nozzles. <laughs> Oh, 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 you are not a good fighter. Gather, gather. I wish I could just close those doors, but they're damaged, so... Can I go over here and, like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal the ship. Oh man, oh man. They're breaking everything. And we're gonna start depleting oxygen for different parts of the, the area. Dude, this is not good. And he's not healthy enough to fix that fast enough to not die. I don't think we're gonna survive this. Uh, how do I do like shift click or something? Oh, no, 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 no! Or control? Yeah, there we go. Keep hitting their shields. Just keep going for the shields over and over again. Okay, we already blew through the green shield. And we're dead! We're literally cut in half. Ah. Uh. Anyways, that was... Uh, FTL. I'll put this all in one video because it wasn't too long. Um, 
it was, it's a decently fun game. It's a very fast to die game. It's a bit, very much a roguelike or whatever where you start over every time it's different. Uh, slowly you unlock new ships and stuff. It's very cool. I'm not sure if I'll, I'd ever do a let's play of this, but I might just put up a game randomly every once in a while. And I'll see you guys in about two game, two days with another uh, one shot. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, like and comment if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I'll leave all kinds of links in the bottom for interesting things to check out. Bye-bye.